And welcome to The Real Deal. Now, nothing dispels the memory of dinner suits and the village jam contest like a bloody thriller. And that's surely what Dan Stevens of Downton Abbey fame was thinking when he took on the lead role in slasher flick The Guest. So I sent the boys to have a chat with Dan and his co-star Micah Munro and ask him about life after Lady Mary and what it's like to make transitions from the small to the big screen. Enjoy. <laughs> The guest is such a fun, entertaining film. Mm -hmm. uh, how much of that did you sense when you read the script? And how much did you try and add to your character once you started filming? Um, <clears throat> well, I had a little bit of an idea after seeing Your Next, uh, their previous film, what they kind of wanted to create, bringing, bringing in that, that uh, comedic feel. And then I think once on set, kind of seeing how Dan worked and, and kind of bringing an opposite, a very dry, uh, uh, character th I thought would be kind of fun and working with with Adam he had such a specific idea every little detail um, figured out so it was very cool kind of bringing this girl to life uh, working with him your character Anna is sort of fond of mixtapes and she makes one for <laughs> yeah. the guest yeah. if someone was going to make a mixtape mm -hmm. for Michael Monroe yes <laughs> what would mean to be on that mixtape oh I would say a variety some old school is important uh, rock, but then some like old school rap, and then um, newer stuff. No, no techno stuff, please. Um, yep, <laughs> and and I think then I'll be good with that. Yeah. So when people start coming up to you, you'll know that they watch this. Interview. That they watch this interview because I'll be like, perfect, you guys got it right. <laughs> Uh, what was the, I'm curious to know what the answer was like offset because you know, it's a very fun entertaining film. <laughs> um, you know, what was mm -hmm. the funniest scene you shot? What, are there, is there any gag we can look forward to? Um, gosh, I mean it, it was an incredibly fun set. One of one of the, the, the funnest experiences that I've had because I don't know if you've met uh, Adam or Simon yet. They are hysterical, very odd, interesting people. And the, the producers are amazing, and, and uh, Dan. So we had a very nice group, and we kind of created this family. And we were filming in uh, the middle of nowhere, New Mexico, right? This little town, Moriarty, and there is nothing. I mean, there is. I looked out my window, and there was a Taco Bell. So that was about it. So we had to entertain ourselves. So we we had fun, though. It was such a, a special group. Um, so it was nice. Cool. And obviously, you got this one now, the guest, and you got it follows as well. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you're a fan of this genre. <laughs> How are you going about picking your roles in future now? Are you trying to stick with this? Are you trying to do something like this? Mm, I, like, I like mixing it up. Yeah, yeah, it's just by coincidence that these two kind of horror, same kind of genre films lined up next to each other. But I think it's, it's very fun to explore uh, different genres and different types of roles. So probably you'll be seeing some different stuff coming up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what's the real deal on this film, finally? Why do you think audiences are really going to like it? Um, it's just, it's fun. It's such a fun film. Watching it, I, I watched the film for the first time with an audience, and everyone's, you know, laughing, screaming, and to have a horror film, such a, you know, a specific, like the genre that, that people love, but then bringing in a very humorous feel, um, it's it's just so much fun. The music's amazing. It's it's just a blast. Yeah. Thanks for your time today. Yes. Very nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 